being consistently successful on the water is all about the little things. And mastering the fine details can translate into big outcomes. We join Z-Man pros on the water to gain insight into the nuances and adjustments that can help anglers of all skill levels turn an average day on the water into an epic one. Wow, what a meat dog right there. This is Project Z, breaking down the bite. On a prefrontal windy morning in central Florida, Z-Man pro Luke Clausen is searching for grass beds and clear water conditions. Typically, on most Florida lakes, bass seem to reside in the cleanest areas that offer a mix of aquatic vegetation. Seeing hyacinth mats floating about 100 yards off the bank inside a hydrilla line, Luke shuts down the boat and begins to investigate. This section of the lake also has pole timber above and below the surface, providing more structure for fish in the area. Given the lake conditions and being in search mode, Luke tags on a Texas rigged 10 times tough Elaztec boar hogs bait in the black blue color because of its extreme versatility and appearance in the tannic colored water. The boar hog's slender profile enables it to come through the grass easily. Its heavily textured twin curly tails create fish attracting action on the retrieve and on the fall. The boar hog's deeply ribbed body emits vibrations and has a natural feel. This extremely versatile lure is a perfect swimming bait that allows Luke to cover water fast until he finds an active school of fish in the grass beds. Alternatively, it can be fished as a pitch bait, which enables Luke to slow his presentation down without changing his setup. When stopped on the bottom, the boar hog's tails float up due to its buoyant elastic construction, bringing the bait to life. Luke's setup consists of a 7 foot 9 inch extra heavy stiff rod with an 8.1 to 1 retrieve bait caster spooled with 16 pound fluorocarbon. He prefers using fluoro over braid because it creates less noise in the grass and is practically invisible in clear water. He pegs a 3 8 ounce tungsten weight to the boar hogs, which is rigged on a 4 aught straight shank flipping hook. Pegging is critical. Luke uses a bobber stopper to peg the weight tight against the bait which helps keep it from getting hung up while swimming through the thick grass. Luke uses the wind to help move his boat and powers his trolling motor only when needed to remain as quiet as possible so as to not push fish off the shallow flat. As Luke fan casts the hydrilla edge, he notices patches of eel grass. This is a good sign because bass will position themselves in visible holes or in the seams where the hydrilla and eel grass meet. Luke also pays close attention to his graph looking for small depressions or ditches running through the grass flat. A depth change of only a foot can hold several fish, and ditches act as highways that bass traverse in search of bait or a good spawning location. Seeing what appears to be a needlefish getting chased by a predator fish, Luke quickly makes a long cast, engages his reel, and begins a steady retrieve back to the boat. After several cranks, he feels a bite and keeps reeling until the rod loads up. Luke sets the hook in an upward motion and cranks as fast as he can to get the fish moving toward the boat and near the surface. His extra heavy stiff rod allows him to get the most stretch from the fluorocarbon line and does most of the work for him. His first bass is a solid keeper. Sensing the possibility that more fish are in the area, he drops his shallow water anchor and further dissects the area. Two casts later, Luke hooks up on another solid bass, and the next cast produces a similar result. After the bite slows, Luke tries a much slower retrieve, letting the boar hogs penetrate the grass and fall through its stems. He pauses, then with a couple upward jerks of his rod, hops the bait, breaking it free from the grass and lets it fall again. As the bait falls, his line jumps, signaling a fish has inhaled the boar hogs. He reels down, loads up the rod and pulls hard with a sideward hook set. To move the fish through the grass and up to the surface, Luke applies just enough pressure by holding his rod in a 3 o'clock position pointed toward the fish. Too much rod pressure will cause his floral line to snap, so Luke cranks his reel to move the fish from cover. Now free of the grass, Luke lands his biggest fish of the day. Understanding how bass position around different types of vegetation, utilizing a stealthy approach, and choosing a versatile bait that allows him to cover water quickly and slow down to capitalize on concentrated fish, Luke Clausen was able to successfully break down the grass bite.